Good morning, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. For the most part, it's a clean sweep on the radar. A few little snowflakes out across Craig County and areas south into parts of, say, uh, Montgomery and Pulaski counties, areas just south of Radford, perhaps dealing with a few snowflakes. We certainly have more in the way of some snow showers out west of us. This is a little disturbance that has its origin in Canada, sweeping south into areas into northern parts of Tennessee. It's going to get close to us overnight tonight, and we'll provide the West Slopes more snow showers. Most most of this stays in West Virginia, but there could be a small spillover into our West Slope, say from Highland County South into with Bland and also uh, Grayson counties. So future trackers showing that again, most of the snow, most of the accumulating snow will stay west of us. Uh, as we head into Monday, we are looking at this upslope snow machine kind of turning itself off. And then on Monday, really from sun up until sundown, we are looking at a mostly sunny sky. Just know that the winds tomorrow are going to be rather strong, especially for the first half of the day. So through tonight, we could pick up an additional inch or two of snow, especially in West Virginia. Okay, Snowshoe, Quinwood, Bluefield, Taswell, all areas that could see maybe a little over an inch of snow out of this uh, next little uh, piece of energy sweeping through here. Notice though, uh, you just don't see a lot of blue from Highland County south into Bland County. Could there be a small spillover of some snowflakes into Monterey, also into Mountain Lake, also into Rocky Gap, Bastion, Bland, south into White Top? Absolutely, there could be, especially say towards Mount Rogers, but uh, this is a storm system that's going to have a, a little bit of trouble getting much farther east than the west slopes here in the Commonwealth. Temperatures 38 in Blacksburg, also in Withville, 31 hot springs, 30 in Lynchburg, but up to 41 right now across the Roanoke Valley. It wasn't long ago that temperatures in Roanoke were 32. We've gone up a lot here over the last four to five hours. And oh yes, the winds are starting to increase as well. Along and west of the parkway, winds right now 7 to 24 miles per hour. Farther east winds, not a huge factor just yet, but that will likely change. We're looking at wind gusts tonight in excess of 30 or 35 miles per hour. Same thing as we head into the day on Monday, especially say through 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Notice though, once we get beyond lunchtime, those winds will actually start to settle down quite a bit. Wind chills. <laughs> It's going to be a really, really frigid start to the day. We're looking at wind chills hovering around zero in Withville. It's likely going to feel like the single digits in Blacksburg, Hillsville, Galax, Floyd. This says six degrees as your feel like temperature in Hot Springs at 7 a.m. I wouldn't be surprised if it's colder than that. And then as those winds start to weaken by lunchtime, the temperature and the wind chill are going to uh, get closer together, i.e. your feel like temperature is actually going to feel like the actual air temperature that is outside, especially again by tomorrow afternoon. Overnight tonight, though, partial clear we're turning windy overnight. Lows are in the teens and 20s as we head into the day tomorrow. We're looking at those high temperatures in the 30s and lower 40s. Now the exception to that will be hot springs where you could stay in the 20s, but we're mostly sunny tomorrow and pretty windy for the first half of the day. 49 Tuesday and dry. We are wet on Wednesday. By Thursday, we're windy with highs around 42, 46 on Friday with another chance for some scattered showers as we head into Saturday and Sunday of next weekend. One thing about the Wednesday storm system, it would not 100% surprise me if we start with a couple of hours of a wintry mix towards the higher elevations Wednesday morning. So bear that in mind. We'll be right back.